In this short video we will show you how to handle invalid inputs. One way of firing the I extension is when there is a prompt or input that has been made with background application. When a caller presses an invalid entry, the call flow will be continued at invalid extension. In other words, you can set up I extension to prompt for wrong key presses. To demonstrate usage of invalid extension we will open the dial plan created in lesson 1. This dial plan answers the call, then plays sound file, and then hangs up. We will modify the dial plan by replacing playback block with background building block. The background block plays the sound file but unlike the playback it will collect caller's input. When caller presses a key or series of keys the sound file will be interrupted and the call flow will be continued at the extension that corresponds with the pressed keys. In this case the background block will play main menu sound file in the background, while waiting for DTMF in the foreground. We will also add wait extension to give some extra time to caller to enter a digit. In our case the extra time will be 6 seconds. Both background and wait extension allow the caller to enter DTMF digits. Asterisk then attempts to find an extension in the current context that matches the digits that the caller entered. If asterisk finds an unambiguous match, it will send the call to that extension. Let's demonstrate by adding a few more building blocks to our dial plan. OK, now we have the call flow we wanted. So, if you call into extension for example 345, it will play a sound prompt that says main menu. It will then wait for you to pick either option 1 or option 2. If you press one of those digits, asterisk will read that digit back to you. You'll also find that if you enter a different digit such as 4, it won't give you what you expected. The call flow will continue at invalid extension. And we will add an invalid extension that will return the call back to the background block so the caller hears the main menu file again. So, in this call flow, if the caller press a digit that does not have an unambiguous match, dial plan will be returned back to the background component and the caller will hear a voice file again. This is typical scenario for the invalid extension. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions please go to forums.upstill.com. Full functional free of charge trial version of Visual Dial Plan can be downloaded from our website. www.upstill.com